Whether you're a Mercedes fan or not, you gotta admit it's kinda heartbreaking to see Lewis Hamilton not win a single race this season. He was just so close to winning in 2021, which would have been a record 8th championship win. But don't worry folks, he's reassured us that he'll be here for a long time, so stay till the end of the video to learn all about it. First up, Lewis Hamilton reveals he will continue racing, plus other related news. Last Sunday's French Grand Prix was Lewis Hamilton's 300th career race, and although the British race couldn't finish it with a win, he did manage to grab the podium. Let's be honest here, folks, his car is not fast enough, and that seems to have demotivated him to a point where his performance is suffering beyond the drawbacks of the car. So his podium was a great achievement. After all, he finished second, especially considered that he qualified fourth. But not gonna lie, his win was aided by Charles' early retirement and Sainz's disqualification to the back. If Charles Leclerc hadn't crashed, and if Carlos Sainz hadn't started 19th, then it seemed like Hamilton had had no chance. So whereas his 300th race was an impressive second finish, it just wasn't as perfect as he'd wanted it to be. So that's sad, right? Well, no. Mercedes' main powertrain issues don't come from the engine, but rather the electric motor, which they can change next year. So Hamilton in a powerful car for 2023 will be dangerous. And he's now stated that he will continue racing and has enough fuel in his tank for 100 more races. He also stated that his career will last beyond his contract contract with Mercedes. Does this mean he's going to be leaving the F1 team after the next season? Well, we'll talk about that later in this video. So what does his future look like? Hamilton is 37 years old, that's old in F1 numbers. Considering that most of the folks in the sport are only in their 20s, Lewis is definitely getting up there. The oldest racer on the grid is 41 years old. Then there's Sebastian Vettel, someone who's only 35 years old but is way past his prime. Hamilton has claimed he'll be able to race 100 more times, that's roughly 5 more years of racing left in him. By then, he'll be 42. There's a reason Alonso and Vettel aren't in a Ferrari, Red Bull, or Mercedes. It's because these are top-class teams and are always looking for the best talent. So it could be the case that he ends up at a lower-tier team from 2024 onwards, where his experience will be needed. But it also depends on the next season. As of right now, he's got Mercedes to blame for his problems. Their car just isn't fast enough on the straights. But if they do fix the car, and the next season he doesn't do well, it could mean the end of his career career at the German company's F1 team. Now, we're going to say something here, folks, but keep in mind that this is just speculation based on what we know in our experience with motorsports. We believe that Lewis's decade-long, absolutely successful partnership will not be coming to an end anytime soon. When he joined Mercedes from McLaren back in 2013, Top Gear's Jeremy Clarkson made the analogy that it was like moving from Manchester United to West Ham. That's how bad they were back then. Now, together with Lewis, the team worked hard and saw a level of success never seen before. Their partnership was and is so strong that we don't think he'll be leaving anytime soon. So based on our own opinions, they will happily extend their contract to him for another two years. Even if they don't, that doesn't mean it's the end of Hamilton. Some of the mid and bottom tier teams would do everything in their power to snatch him. But what does Hamilton say about all this? According to Hamilton, he has plenty of fuel in the tank to continue his F1 career beyond 2023. Last Sunday's race was his best result of the season, but after a discussion, team boss Toto Wolff revealed that he could continue in the sport for another 5 to 10 years, reaching the 400 race mark. The racer then acknowledged that he's proud of what he's been doing. He further stated that he looks forward to starting the day working with what he called an incredible group of people every morning. His tone suggests that the love story between him and Mercedes is far from over. He did admit that the current season has been disastrous and that he and the team need to go back to winning. Hamilton then conceded, saying it'll take time to return to winning ways. This does give us some hope, doesn't it? But then there's also the fact that he's enduring the longest wait of his F1 career to secure a win in a season. He might get podiums now and then, but he's still unable to win so far. And as we mentioned earlier in the video, this season best result was mostly aided by the retirement of Charles Leclerc and a back of the grid penalty for Carlos Sainz. Talking about all this, Hamilton stated, of course I want to get back to winning ways, and that's going to take time, but I'm sure we'll sit down at some stage and talk about the future. But again, with my team, I always want to be building. He then further added that it's really important to win races, but we shouldn't lose sight of off-the-track performance as well. Mercedes must figure out what's been going on with their powertrain and work to fix it as soon as possible, preferably before the next season. Lastly, will his past be a reflection of his future? No one needs to be convinced how good Hamilton is or was. He has a record for the most wins in F1. He's won a staggering 103 races throughout his career. That's one-third of all races he's participated in. He also holds the record for the most pole positions, which is also 
103. And as if that wasn't enough, he shares two records with the F1 legend Michael Shoemaker. Both of them have won seven world championship titles, and both of them have at least one win each season for 15 consecutive seasons. However, that record could come to an end as the 37-year-old is yet to win a race this season. We don't even have a lot of races left, but we do truly hope he can grab a win. So with a past so golden, he'll be under pressure to make his future at least a little remarkable. His past can be a reflection of his future if he works hard to figure out how to improve the Mercedes car a little better. He's also kind of shaken by the whole 2021 Abu Dhabi fiasco, but for him, to get as good as he was in the past, he needs to let go of it and focus on the road. So if you're a Hamilton fan, be happy. Looks like he's sticking around, folks. Now we'd like to take a couple more minutes of your time to discuss something kind of important. You know, the eventful French Grand Prix. And for further analysis on all future Grand Prix, stay tuned. Now, in other news. Okay, so what the heck did Leclerc do? Charles Leclerc was all set to have an excellent race in France. He secured pole position and led the race for several laps too. If he'd kept Verstappen at bay, he would have been so much closer to him on the points table. So much closer. Let's say Leclerc won and Verstappen came second. Leclerc would have been sitting at 195 points and Max at 226, a gap easier to close. But with his accident at the French GP, he's now a whopping 66 points behind Verstappen, practically bidding farewell to the season's championship. Everything was going well for him, but he was under immense pressure from Verstappen, who was gaining on him. Under the pressure, he lost the rear of the car, which then slipped and slid into the barriers forcing an early retirement. Ferrari fans all over the stands were seen bowing their heads in disappointment. Up next, Sainz finishes fifth. This may not sound impressive, but Carlos Sainz finished the French GP fifth, which is incredibly impressive. Here's why. Sainz was penalized for changing his engine, so he had to start the race at the 19th spot. Then, because of an unsafe release from the pit stop, he was penalized with a five-second stop. Despite all these bumps on his way, he managed to climb to the top five. That's exactly the kind of stuff we'd expect from future champions. Now we have Mr. Consistency finishing third. George Russell, who's also known as Mr. Consistency for always finishing between fifth and third positions, got the podium last weekend. After an awesome fight with Red Bull's Perez, Russell emerged victorious to steal the third position away from him. Lewis isn't even close to retirement, but Mercedes have already found their next champion. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Do you folks think that Hamilton will ever win a world championship again? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye!